friends, I'm Melanie and you're watching AKA Mommy and I'm going to share with you my Costco haul for the month of November 2016. This is a pretty big Costco haul, but a lot of the things that I get are pretty standard items that I always buy at Costco. I either buy them monthly or I buy them just as needed. Um, some of the items I bought I won't need to buy again for probably four to six months or possibly even a year, but I bought a whole lot. So let me go ahead and get started. I'm gonna show you what I bought and then I'm gonna hand it off to children who are sitting over here and they're going to move it out of my way. So just starting with what I have right in front of me, I have, I needed a couple of new pillows because mine are completely squished and I, I just can't sleep on a flat pillow. So bought a couple of pillows to put on the bed. All right, so I bought some apple slices. I've seen these in a lot of Costco hauls lately and I really was happy to find them in my Costco as well. So I don't know why, but my kids are more likely to eat apples if they're already pre-cut. So I got some apple slices, organic apple slices. I also picked up some raspberries. This was a really good price. Now granted, this is not organic, but this was $4 and something for this carton. So those will go pretty fast in my house because my kids really like raspberries. And then the other fruit that I bought was just bananas. Yes, these are pretty green because um, we still have some bananas that we're working on right now. But I think that that is everything for fruit. Let me show you guys, I got two blocks of cheese. I got one of the sharp cheddar and one of the mild cheddar. So basically I got four pounds of cheese. Um, I will grate all of one of these and then we'll work through it and then I'll grate the other one and we'll work through that one. But that will last us a good solid month. Um, I also picked up some of the Jimmy Dean fully cooked turkey sausage. I like these because you can just throw them into the microwave and they're really super easy. Really, really good to have. More sour cream. I always buy our sour cream at Costco because it's a really good price there. It's like $3 and something for this tub, which is um, a little bit cheaper than Walmart. This time of the year, I almost always buy orange juice. I guess I should show you the, the front of it. Um, this three pack of orange juice, I think was $9 and something, which it's kind of expensive in my opinion for juice, um, but juice tends to be expensive if you want the good stuff. So I went ahead and got this, and this will be probably the only juice that I'll buy, um, orange juice that I will buy this um, fall season. So I picked up two more containers of lunch meat. As I mentioned in my last Costco haul, these come individually packaged in here like this. And what I will do is I will put these in my freezer and then I will take one ham and one turkey out, let them thaw out and we will eat those. And then when they're gone, I'll pull two more out. So it just is really convenient that they're individually packaged in there. And these two packages will last my family a month. So that's kind of nice. Um, give those to someone else. Oh, I'm doing this in no particular order, but I really like getting this rotisserie chicken from Costco. Now I know I could buy a full rotisserie chicken, but I personally don't like pulling the meat off of the chicken. I, I just, it's a lot of work. I don't like doing it. I don't, it just, it kind of grosses me out a little bit. Um, meat tends to gross me out lately and I don't know why, but I like doing this not only because of all of that, but because this is all white meat and I don't really like the dark meat all that much. So I like doing this. If I remember right, this is just under $12. So I think that that's not too bad. This actually will make two or three meals for my family. I use this in chicken salad, um, chicken quesadillas, chicken tacos, anything, because it's already fully cooked. So I will separate that and then we will use that um, throughout the month. I picked this up for the first time. These are the Purdue popcorn chicken. Normally I get the Tyson chicken nuggets from Costco, but these were on sale and so I wanted to give them a try. Let me know if you guys have ever tried this particular brand. It's just popcorn chicken, so I think that, I mean, I assume it's gonna be pretty good, but I got those this month. I also picked up some organic broccoli florets, which I always buy at Costco because it is a really good price there. I got some avocados. For avocados, I've really been craving avocados. And I don't remember exactly how much this was, but it wasn't super cheap. These are not in season right now. So those four avocados, I'm gonna enjoy them very much because they were not cheap. I picked up some Orida french fries. I bought two bags of these probably two or three months ago, and I still have a bag, but 
if you guys have watched my Cos my Costco hauls from like a year ago, you might remember me saying that my Costco didn't carry Orida French fries. So you better believe that when they finally started carrying them, I'm stocking up because there's no telling when they are going to be gone. So I'm going to take a breath. Okay. Um, this is something that I have not picked up at Costco before, but my kids love Ritz crackers. Um, they love to snack on them. They love to have these with snacky lunch. And this was on sale this month at Costco. I'll list the price right here for you guys. Um, this I thought was really good. 18 packs. And I, again, I don't remember the price, but I thought that this was a really good deal. And if you're going to be hosting parties or anything like that during the um, fall you know, Thanksgiving or Christmas season, that might be a really good thing to look into having. You guys know I always buy applesauce every single time I go to Costco because Kyler especially, but um, all of my kids like applesauce. Kyler eats at least one of those a day. If we're not careful, she'll eat more than that. I haven't bought these in a while, so I decided to get them for my kids because I know how much they love them. It's the Farm Rich Cinnamon French Toast Sticks. My kids can go through these in no time at all, but I haven't bought them in a while because my kids were going through them so fast. Um, okay, so these were on sale this month. I actually had a subscriber let me know last month that they were going to be on sale this month, so I was excited to get some more of these. I thought about getting more than one box, but I decided just to get one because I don't have like bukus of storage space so i did get some more of the tasty bite madras lentils i think that that's the way that you say it so there you go there's those they were on sale this month okay so another thing that i like to get from costco around this time of the year is their carry gold butter i picked up two boxes of this um i don't use this in everything that i make for thanksgiving because wow that would get really expensive these are i think like 750 for each that's like $15 worth of butter right there but I promise you it is really really good it's good to have if you want um, just some really high quality butter to use in some of your recipes I don't normally spend that much on butter throughout the whole year because actually I don't even cook with butter all that often but anyway I'm going back and forth between grocery and non-grocery items but I'm just showing you whatever's sitting in front of me I picked up some batteries because we completely ran out and I have a remote control that needs them so I would highly recommend if you've never looked into getting your batteries from Costco that you do that this package was I think $15 um, $15 for 40 batteries is really good that's definitely gonna be cheaper than what you can get um, than what you would pay at even Walmart. This is one of the items that Costco has on sale this month, and it is the silicone baking liners. I use these pretty much any time I bake anything in the oven. I mean, obviously, if it's on a cookie sheet or a baking sheet, I use these. Um, I have two of them, and they're really starting to get kind of raggedy looking, so I got two more um, of the normal size, and then this is a smaller one. So this, I think, was like $15, but something that if you're... Um, in the market for those hit up your Costco this month I also picked up some more fruit snacks for my kiddos I've never purchased this particular kind before the this is just the Kirkland organic fruit snacks um, I read the ingredients on them and it seemed like it was okay like my biggest thing is that there's no high fructose corn syrup in it so that made me happy we'll see if the kids like these um, we eat a lot of gummy snacks or my kids eat a lot of gummy snacks so it's kind of a big deal to, you know, have ones that are not full of junk. Um, I picked up some more tuna. I, we ran out this week. I used the last two cans that um, I had. So we picked up some more of the skipjack tuna from Costco. I got some chicken stock because I use this a whole lot during this time of the year. Um, but also, I just use it throughout the year. So I probably purchased that twice a year total. I picked up some more mandarin oranges for the kiddos. We have a lot of snacking going on at our house. And as you can see, I went ahead and got another box of the microwave popcorn. Um, this box for 44 packages of popcorn is like $10. So that, in my opinion, is pretty good. Um, I picked up some Clorox wipes simply because we have had a whole lot of sickness going on in our house lately. And I'm kind of tired of it. I'm over it. Those were on sale this month at Costco, so I decided to pick those up. And kind of along those same lines, <laughs> I got some of the cotton nail wipes simply because I like to have them on hand and they were on sale. We'll just move on past those. Um, I also picked up a ginormous, huge jar of mayonnaise, which I've never purchased 
No, that's not true. I actually have purchased it from Costco before. It's huge. This thing is like, right? It's almost as big as my head. It is 64 ounces of mayonnaise. This was on sale, really good price on it. So I picked that up. This was the one and only thing that, you know, you walk through Costco and they're giving out samples of things and you go, oh, I should buy that. I tend to avoid sampling things because then I always want to buy, you know, impulse things. I avoided everything except for this one item. And oh my good gracious, the second I tasted it, I was like, where can I find these in the store? Gingerbread muffins. And they are so good. They're tiny little bite-sized muffins. They're delicious. These are so good. I could probably eat 16 of them in one sitting. I won't allow myself to do that because these are not even close to being healthy, but they are very, very yummy. So I believe, okay, so I also bought dog food, which I am not showing you because it's a big old bag. And I bought diapers. Again, not anything exciting, just a box of diapers. And I bought um, four dozen eggs. This is one of the two dozen. <laughs> So I bought two packages of these that will last us a good month. Um, and then the last thing that I purchased, I think the last thing, I told you guys this was a big haul. The last thing, things that I purchased, I got these last year for the first time. These are plastic plates, but as you can see, they look really nice. Um, we will use these at our Thanksgiving that I'm having at my parents' house this year. Um, it's just, it's just really, really nice to have something that is disposable. You don't have to worry about washing it or putting it in the dishwasher. You literally just eat and then throw it away. I personally think that that's awesome and it looks nice. Like those are, I like them. They're so cute. And then to go with those, I also picked up some more of the, um, plastic wear. I mean, I don't really know if you can call these silverware. But um, fork, spoons, and knives. Again, we can just um, use these, can, and because they're plastic, we can just throw them away. Less dishes for us to have to do. So there's another thing I got. Bread. I got more bread. Um, this is four loaves. This will probably only last my family about two weeks. No, maybe three weeks. We eat a lot of bread. But let me look and see if there's anything else. Do you guys see anything else that I missed? You don't know? I think that that's it. So we are going to work on getting all of this stuff put away. And we hope that you guys have enjoyed this Costco haul. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you leave. And stay tuned for more videos. I'll be back really soon. You guys take care. Bye now.